she put me in the friend zone So I had decided that I would not let it slide I see you on your way, so just continue walking out We don't have to talk about it, I've been trying to talk it out For weeks, took me off the deep Took me off the deep end, I'll be out of reach So don't hit me, there's nothing more to see Welcome, 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 welcome to another edition of Hit Refresh. I'm your host, KD, and um, I have my co-host here, Kofi, in the back. And to my right, I have our also uh, co-host, special guest. Go ahead and announce yourself, Kai. Kai. What's going on? What's going on? And um, just so uh, you all know, at Hit Refresh, we want you to make sure you... Hit the subscribe button. Look for us on Instagram at Hit Refresh TV. Also, you can email us with any of your inquiries at Hit Refresh Button at gmail.com. Hit Refresh t- TV on Twitter. Um, and um, again, um, our sponsors are, okay, can't forget about those guys. We have Light Snack for all of your food delivery services. Make sure you go to Light Snack. can be found on all the Google platform apps as well as your iOS platforms. As well as order some food and you want to order these wings. These are some very good wings at Magic City Wings. And don't forget their slogan is make sure you don't forget to lick the sauce. And it's a surprise in there for you every time. All right. All right. And those are our sponsors. Just so, just so you know. Put this out to everybody. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Now, our topic for today is, and I really don't even know what to call this topic, but we're going to say sexy and pregnant. All right. All right, sexy and pregnant. And what we mean by that is uh, there is this trend. Um, And I'm not going to say it's a new trend, but you probably see more of it. Um, because of the uh, social media era, because you have access to those photos. But I have seen them in photo shoots, you know, um, back in the days. Um, people paid a pretty penny for these stars to uh, show their um, natural nude bodies while they were in their period of gestation. And um, it's, to some, natural beauty because... Uh, Going through that period of pregnancy is uh, something that people do find, you know, touching and beautiful and tender. And uh, a lot of women want to remember those moments. But what has occurred um, to a lot of people is the more it got out to the masses and the more people for whom um, got a hold of this trend and started doing it, it became something of more what a lot of people may consider a little uh, crude and pornographic. And um, I have my thoughts on why that is so, and I'll give those. But uh, I'm going to turn this over to Kai, and um, we're going to see how she feels about this whole uh, trend. Go ahead, Kai. Oh, wow. Where do I start? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I think this really just came to mind the other day because I saw uh, photos of Brittany Renner and her her pregnancy photos with the – who was her baby daddy? P.J. Williams. P.J. Washington. P.J. Washington. Okay. Okay. okay that man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. Man. So, um, you know, I've definitely seen tons of naked, you know, uh, celebrities photos or whatever you want to say from their pregnancy shoes. I mean, Beyonce did it, and I thought it was pretty um, fabulous. But you know, the ones that are just overtly sexy, I find it to be a little tacky. Um, I, I don't really see the point. We all know that you are sexy, or um had sex to get this baby so i think that um i think it's just a little bit much these days don't you think what do men think about this um you go ahead and touch on that one kofi i'm I'm, I'm gonna let that one ride um i don't mean i don't have an issue with it but i don't like it too much either because you know what i'm saying i don't understand why you want to show you you know i don't really like new photos anyway like I don't, I'm just not that type of person. I'm a photographer, and I still I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's whatever floats your boat for me. I got a question. As a photographer, if uh, someone approached you and they liked your eye, um, would you do it? 
It depends on how much money they're going to give you. <laughs> right. you know it, it, it depends, depends on the money. On it depends the on the thing. money. Yeah. All right. So um, money. Would you try to find the artistry in it for the money? Yeah, but you know, like I—I I mean, and it's all like I—I I don't get it because me as a man, I'm gonna want to try to fuck, and I'm sorry, I'm just being real, especially if she. You gonna try to feed the baby? I and know, I'm, and so. so oh, not not the pregnancy. I'm talking. Okay. I'm talking. You're talking okay. about regular. I'm talking. You're talking about regular new photos. I'm not. I'm not thinking. Y'all talking. About, but no, 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 not not pregnancy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to deal with that because, you know, they have a lot of emotions and, and, and like, you know, they're going through their mood swings and shit. And, you know, I'm not good with, I'm not good at model photography anyway because I don't like people's attitudes. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hate dealing with people's attitudes. So you're going to stay away from pregnant women altogether as Hell a Hell yeah, because they, <laughs> yeah. they so emotional. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, oh, I don't like this. Oh, do me like this. Now. You, already you already got to deal with that. You, yeah. you, you may have to deal with that with a woman. Yeah, but it's, t- it's, ten, it's, ten right. time, it's ten times that when they're pregnant. You know? All right. So so I understand that reason. Um, I guess it's on me. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to look at this from a standpoint of uh, a viewpoint, excuse me, of if my wife or my girlfriend right. wanted to do the nude photos, nude pregnancy photos. And, 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 and nude, nude, nude for pregnancy might be a harsh word, so we're going to just say natural. Okay. We, we you know, we, we're going we're gonna to finesse that with natural. Because um, I've seen it with the glow on them, and they, and they really don't show... The vagina, they're in the water sometimes. Sometimes they're on a horse. I've seen, I've seen all kinds of ways. Nevertheless, as a man, um, I'm staying out of the way <laughs> because of this. My wife or girlfriend, hopefully my wife, um, because I do believe in um, first came love, then came marriage, then came pushing the baby carriage. That's a whole nother subject. Nevertheless, um. She's already emotional, just as Kofi said. This may be something to uplift her. So I have to have that conversation with her. And if this is something she wants to do, and let's just say I'm against it. Because I'm not either, I'm I'm neither for it or against it, you know. Um, if this is something that'll make her happy, if she's seen her body change and it's beautiful to her and she wants to capture the moment, I gotta let her go ahead and go for it. I, I have to personally do what I can to keep the high blood pressure down inside of the, for the baby. I don't want that to be an argument between us that's going to turn into something else. So in, in that regard, if that's something she wants to do, I'm green lighting it. Yeah, you know? but who is she exactly doing it for is my question because, like, I'm thinking about the child too. So if the husband don't really care, okay, like, it's not like you need to see these to find her sexy. Um, I don't think any husband – and Matter. so is this for the children? I mean, when the children are like, Mom, I wanna see I wanna see the pictures from when you were pregnant with me, like I'm excited to flip through our baby album together. And I'm I'm talking about the ones that are just like overtly sexy. Like who who is that for? I don't think no child gonna look back and be like, Great mom, you're you What was the example you, you talking about? Like what made you get on this idea? It was specifically Britney Renner's, you know. I mean I guess we already know that she puts herself like that out there. I, I think I think I think that's where your problem lies. I think I I don't think your problem lies with the photos. I think your problem lies with the person that's doing the photos. I think I think where where you this person has already presented themselves prior to pregnancy as this promiscuous, promiscuous sexually adventurous, I sell sex personality. So when you see that personality, yeah, finding I, a reason to be nude. <laughs> Just, for, yeah. you, you, you're looking at that personality saying, is this good? Now, that's not to say, but hypothetically, you may find someone who thinks the same thing as far as the pictures are concerned and wants to do that like Brittany Renner. But she's not all out there and she doesn't present herself like that. And then you may look at her pictures from a different perspective. I don't know if you will, but sometimes it might be the personality like, like you know, not judging anyone, but. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I don't want to say it. It's literally just those pictures, you know. I really, I'm not going to say I'm the hugest fan of Britney. I've listened to her. Because didn't Rihanna do it? Yeah, but this is what I want to say. Like, 
like I said, Beyonce did it, and I thought they were actually beautiful photos to see. A lot of celebrities do it, and they they can be elegant, they can be artistic, and I think that's a totally different genre when you're talking about being, um, you know, creative and not just sexy like raunchy sexy. <laughs> so what is the difference? Like how like how will those like what's the difference between those photos? Like artsy and I don't get it. like what's the difference? Like what are you trying to say? I mean, I would say because they like like at the same time they did that that stuff back in the day with Mo, not Mozart but like Van Gogh and all them. Well, yeah, I'm not saying nude women and... in general is a problem. Nude nude women, of course, is a part of art, and I think that it can be tasteful. I think there's a line between taste and tack. So you think vagina is art? I mean, I I think what, vagina is definitely. I art. mean, Georgia O'Keeffe. D- <laughs> God, you outdid yourself <laughs> when you made the vagina. Yeah, it's a beautiful flower. It's a beautiful flower, yes. But go ahead, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, nudity isn't the, the thing that the detracts from it being beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, I have no problem with the human body. And definitely, I, I took art classes. I did life drawing, one of my favorite classes. So, like, I think there's just a different... The sexiness is the part that I'm asking. When you look at a picture of a, a, a naked pregnant woman, do you want to see sex being sold? You know what I mean? Like, that's it's already done. So, like, I don't think that that's necessary in, in that kind of photography. All right. Let, 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 let me do this. I'm the type of guy. I put people on the spot. Because I heard something. You said Beyonce's pictures were elegant, correct? Yeah. In your opinion, the My naked opinion. photos. Yeah. All right, cool. You also don't see Beyonce the same way you see Britney Renner, correct? She artistically, yeah, right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So you uh-huh. accept you accepted her pictures. Um, has Beyonce ever sold sex? Ooh, that is a. Yeah, that's a good question. She yeah. has. She definitely she has. does. She definitely does. So what makes yeah. her different? Jeez, I wish I could have the visual in front of, <laughs> of me right now. So so it's the pictures. It's like, the pictures. It's literally that. So that's what I mean. It's like, if, I mean, I have no problem with Brittany Win- Renner um, and her lifestyle for her. But I think when it comes to exuding that in an image with your child, that's when it crosses. So, 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 so Beyonce's kids will say, hey, mom. You know, yeah, her pictures are amazing. I think they're some of the most beautiful nude um, pregnant photography that you've seen. So I would tell most women to take a cue from that if they're going to do it. So I so 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 and, and that's my thing. So I guess my question was. If a Britney Renner personality, a porn star, yeah. sells sex in their way and they take pregnant photos, what's the difference between Beyonce, I, Rihanna Selling sex in their way because they do sell sex. They do sell sexy in the videos, looking different with their pregnant photos. Like, like I, I, I don't think any of the photos are targeting anything except the, uh, the side and the stomach. I've never seen one with the vagina. I've never seen anyone with the, you know, showing the all that milk in the breast. So, so they are trying to be a little tasteful when they do it for a child inside of them. So I'm just trying to understand the difference because there is a level of hypocrisy in acceptance of Beyonce's but not acceptance of Britney Renner's. Well, I mean, I I don't know. I wish the photo was up, but I think that there's one that to me they let one they, the, you think you know, they let one go? You, do you think do you uh, think the well, one she chose and then some photographer caught her and that's the one you saw? And, We'll see. I don't know. I mean, uh, this literally is what I see online. So it it gotcha. does not seem like a um, what do you call it? Um, an impromptu, <laughs> you know, catch of the the camera. Okay, um, so this wasn't. You don't think this photo you I saw was what, even a I photo shoot? It, I mean, it was a photo shoot. So oh, okay, I'm okay, it okay. Impromptu. So gotcha. I'm saying that like it. I think that the visual delivery, whether you sell, I don't, I don't. If you're a porn star, that's cool. I don't have no, you know, okay. anything against you. But when it comes time to take a photo. Um, pregnant, I think that there are different ways, and you know that language that can be read by every person when you portray yourself in the photo. Right. And I think that, you know, there's being beautiful in your pregnancy, and then there's being se- still selling sex in your photo, basically. Right, 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 right. I, I can I can see I can see that difference. I just kind of wanted to get that outline. Sure. Of, no, that's fair. That's totally fair. You know, I, of uh, who's doing it. But go ahead, Kofi. 
I just say I don't understand the whole. I don't understand the whole concept. I don't know who started it, but I don't understand it either. Was it Beyonce who started all that? No, nah, man. No, I think this is the. This been since like old time, the sixties. Like I think, yeah, yeah. It, 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 taking new photos while I'm pregnant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's it's not a it's not a new phenomenon. Which I think that it's a beautiful body. Don't get me wrong. I feel like it's dumb. <laughs> Why? I just feel like it's stupid. <laughs> like it's just dumb. I I, I personally feel like. As I'm hearing it from you guys, um, it's like yeah, shit. yeah, 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 and, and 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 like I said, I'm gonna let her have that because no, no one can really. Kofi, you got any kids yet? No. All right, so we, me either, and 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 that might that might be the issue. It may be, and I'm not saying it won't ever be not be dumb to you, but when we see our woman morph. In six, seven months into a person that's pregnant, we're going to have to be the ones, you know, we're going to have to be her main cheerleader telling her she's still beautiful. Yeah. She's losing a lot of vitamin A. She's losing a lot of vitamin D. That, that, that's all that, uh, those changes you're, you're, in emotion you're saying she's going through. She, she's going to have to be pumped up in some way, form, or fashion if she doesn't feel beautiful. So you're saying sexy. the photo shoot she needs is... to feel sexy. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying the photo shoot <laughs> is making her feel sexy. I'm saying that the motivation that she's getting before the photo shoot is probably making her feel sexy, mm. and she, she, she is feeling beautiful, and she's never seen herself like this, and she wants to remember there herself. There is a glow. There is a glow. It's a glow. It's, it's a, glow a glow to a pregnant woman. You know, so so, and she probably wants to remember herself, you know, in this manner, um, because she's she's going to have baby, and then she may not get back to her original self because she going she's going to want to go back to her original self and she's not. So uh, unless you have that money to get that operation and all Shout that. Shout outs stuff. to Brittany, she did get back to her regular self. Oh yeah, because she she young and small. She worked out anyway. She like yeah, you know. Person. So so I think um in that regard. I'm going to say that I I'm going to support the change. I'm not supporting the photos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna support the change. And if the photos come, I'm going to definitely support the photos because I am not trying to get on the bad side <laughs> of my wife. Want to feel sexy and she pregnant. I, I see I see women at the club. I see women at the club in six months still. With the jeans zipped down and and, and the oh belly Lord, showing that that right there is I think that's a part of what I'm talking about the culture that allows these ideas of sexy pregnant women to persist to the point that you said a woman at the club that that's what's going to happen and, like, and, and that's where we were going you know that, that that's a great that's a great segue that is a great segue <laughs> because I think what what you're referring to is not not I'm not liking the pictures you're saying that. These pictures have gone from the 60s when Twiggy did it and Goldie Hawn did it and Tina Turner did it, you know, and, 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 we, and we looked at these men, women with a level of respect and then they showed us their pregnant side and we were like, oh, that's beautiful. Ebony Magazine, wow. Essence Magazine, Cosmopolitan. They, they, they all made sure they did it in that manner. And then as we move to the new age. Instagram sexy pregnant photos. <laughs> you're, you're looking at the snowball of, well, this woman did it. Who's to say? That Bathsheba from 63rd can't do it, and she going to do it her way. She going to do it. She going to do it her way, and she going to do it in the image that she's in, and it's going to have a different type of reflection. And sh and, 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 and what I'll say to that is, if you're going to do the photos, make them timeless. Amen. That's what I'm talking make, about. Make them timeless so when the child, when the child does see it, the child see the image of, oh, my mama was beautiful when she was pregnant. And the child doesn't say, oh, mama, this is what was going on when you was out. <laughs> you know, because um, that's probably that's probably what you're saying yes. to me. Yes. That's so, what you're saying. So do you guys think that it's not, it's not art anymore or they just becoming just doing anything now? Art, art, is in the, art, art is going to be definitely in the eye of the beholder okay. because what I think is art, yeah. Somebody else may not. Yeah. 
I think know, it's crass, but mean, some may not. The same, the same <laughs> thing. Like that's why I asked this because it's like let me pick back off what you're saying. Like some people think uh, certain things is art and other people don't. Is that um, the Martin Luther King statue? Okay, yeah, that's a that's a big one. I I don't like whatever they said. They see, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm glad you don't. <laughs> I think that um, you know, it's whatever they whatever they said, they saw. I saw it. I don't. I don't see it. I, I saw that penis. I don't see what's the penis. I don't see the eating out. I don't see none of. I didn't see none of that. But everybody else saying that they see it. I don't see it. Did you like it? Hmm. Did I like what the, the uh the like statue? like like when you say when you say you didn't see it you didn't see the art in it you didn't see you, you just didn't see a reason for it or you didn't see no I didn't see what they what everybody's saying they seeing okay okay I okay. didn't see, I don't see it still don't see it and I all thing I see is some twisted up arms that's all I see I don't see it don't make sense to me okay it don't, it don't even, look like it don't, don't even look like the hug it don't even look like the hug to me. I don't. It just looked weird. I was like, man, they need to take that. They need to take it down. And for anybody that doesn't know what we're referencing, we are referencing the two uh, arm um, Martin Luther King monument that was unveiled on Martin Luther King Day in Boston. Embrace Embrace. Um, Coretta Scott King and uh, Martin Luther King giving a hug, um, and the kid or someone said a kid said, and then that's what went viral. That um, the back of what was probably Martin Luther King's arm where Coretta Scott's hands were holding him. It looked like she was holding a member and not of the church. It really did. I seen that member for sure. She's (laughs) All right. What's a member? (laughs) Uh, You don't know what a member is? No, <laughs> it's another. It's it's a it's, a, it's a, well, it's like a colloquial. colloquial. Now, a colloquial a colloquial is kind of um more colloquial. urban and street, but it is like another name for 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 your for the penis. Oh, I didn't a know. A giant that. dick. I seen a giant dick. See, I never, I never a giant know. Wait. bronze. I'm kind of slow back here. Y'all just gotta. You know, yeah, it's okay, so. it's okay, man. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right quick. We have to uh, get Kofi caught up. So we're going to play a little game of Jeopardy and see if he's learned anything in that quick second. All right. Y'all ready to play the game? Let's go. All right, Kofi. Your answer is? A question. No, you have to. You have to. Your answer got to be the question. Yeah. Oh. All right. Jeopardy. I am also a giant dick. I don't know. What is a member? member. Come on, Kofi, you just oh, said it, it man. Oh, my goodness. See, I lost. I lost. You I lost, lost, man. Hold on, slow. My mind don't, don't work like that. I and actually a, member, actually, a member is not a giant dick, but, you know, we that's just referenced it. But that's what I'm saying. My mind don't work like that. Like, like y'all see that? I don't see it. That's why you didn't see the art in the dick. Yes, I don't see it. Dick art. Dick art and pregnant art. Yeah, so it's so it's so it's so okay, okay. So y'all say y'all say vagina is good art, pregnant art is good art, is dick art good art? Because a lot of people don't look at men the same like they do women. Question. That's a great question. I think, and and we are talking about art. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Represent representation of the male nude is, I feel like, not clearly not as you know. I mean, the David, the statue of David, that's the only thing I can really think of off the top of my head. But, like, naked women and, and, and paintings and everything, that's been since the dawn of time. We're just more attractive. That's just it. The male form is, is not the same. It's a utility of just, like, okay. function and strength. That makes so the male, the male form is not the same, like, attractive. Look at strip clubs. But why? The, okay. So it's not the same attractive. But why are y'all so attracted to this? No, I'm not saying it's not that we're not attracted to it, but it. I don't know. I think that it's it's not as I don't I don't know how to explain it. Um, male statues, Roman Greek times. Yes. I th- I think it goes like men are always seen from the side, women are always seen from the front, and they said that um, men are 
to be respected and women are to be revered or, or, or admired or something like that. And that's why they did it. It, it was some, some form of, of, of thing like that. But um, I think penis art, to be totally honest with you, um, is a racial thing. Ooh. You said as what? That, I think it's a racial thing. I love that statement. Why you say that? Oh, go ahead. All right, because most of the time, because I mean, I would be, I would be foolish to say men have not shown their penis in art plenty of times. Like all of these, um, all of these Greek statues, Roman statues, leading to today's, um, what's it called? Where the, where the women go out and take and and they, and they paint the pictures. Mm-hmm. Picks and drinks or whatever they do. Mm-hmm. Class, sip, sipping paints. Sipping paints. Paint. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and, and you know what they're painting, right? Oh yeah, they're, they're painting penis. And so I said, I said that because I think back in the days when you had to do a sculpture of the male species that had more melanin in the skin and the darker species that were because the the, the bronze body is cut a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And we have bigger, um, Johnsons. Yeah, we have bigger body parts. <laughs> you know, we're we're, we're 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 more curvy, just like our women. If you really want to know the truth, more body. Right, right. And they didn't have weights back then where everybody could be even. Yeah. So, so, so I think I think that stuff is something that probably was done, maybe hidden. That that that's something to ask. Um. Those people that took over that stuff understood, like, hey, man, you know, um, we're not going to show that because look at look at how much look at how much mud and and and, and cement and concrete we got to use just to make that, <laughs> you know, you know, I rather I rather make a wiggle. Um, so 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 I believe I believe that stuff got hidden by certain people, possibly. Yeah, I- and and and. and and it's not revered, not, not not as far as your money is concerned. I mean, as far as the strip clubs are concerned. Mm-hmm. Um, that's another part of the women's body is more revered than the man. Right. Um, and I got another side to that, too, and I know I'm saying a lot. But strip club-wise, I think up until modern-day times, women have had less money to spend at the strip club than men. And that's why men's strip clubs became more popular. Because men spend more money on women than women would spend on men, so so, and I'm not saying women don't go to no, male no, strip clubs. That's true, and you also know. like our sexuality has been something that's repressed. So right, right, it's been repressed for so long, and now you're opening it up. You know, that was on, on one of our last episodes, so that may that may be the case with that. But uh, I, I feel men are definitely uh, body art to its own certain degree. It, it's just maybe what Kai said. A woman may not buy that art and put it on the wall as fast, and, and it goes up in um, the Smithsonian, you know, right. or something like that because it's a penis. But there are so many things on this earth that represent the penis. Oh, to where phallic. do you need it? So there you go. There's right the phallic. The, the, the phallic, phallic right representation. Representation is, is all over the place. If you open up your eyes, right. If you open like, up your hey, eyes, why is that penis? Why is this a penis? Like, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. a penis. It's you there, so it is. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that Washington Monument and and and, 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 yeah. and Thomas Our whole Jefferson and it is literally when you a look bunch at of it. dicks outside. Yeah. So 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 they have made it art in their own way. But to answer your question, is it artsy? Yeah. Going back to it. I like Opolis, so yeah. I think it is. I think it is. Um, but I think I think again those guys knew what they were doing when they saw us from the side. I think all men from the side, there's something about that side profile. There's something about that atlas, that man throwing that discus and that javelin that Muscles just and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you, his definition. You know. I think maybe that also says that men placate to being st- seen as being strong and I think that, exactly you know, sexuality is a little bit more vulnerable so it's easier to represent a woman with her vulnerability than to put a man's full vulnerability on display especially when you have to deal with um, conquering other lands where people might what be. is it right be, might be is it because of the pride thing or is it because of the egos what well you know what I'm, I'm gonna say this I, I think it's unfair because of way back in the days if you look at those female statues you never really get those statues never show the perkiest of breasts. Yeah. Like women are not at their best point 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, those, those, those are some small titties. They are. You know, they, stings, they, they, those, those are not the titties that you're going to go to the doctor and get the BBL, you know, and, uh, you know, to, to say, I want my breast implants. You're not going to choose those. And I think I think it might have been some cold days or standing up there a long time. Man, ain't going to yeah. want to show that shrivel. Yeah. A hole. Wow. You know, yeah, when you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And and, 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 and are you going to have a fluffer right there to the side to keep you? <laughs> it gets expensive. It's going to get expensive. So, so, so th- that might be the offset to why, you know, you don't have that. But uh, oh, nevertheless, wow. you know, I think um, it is art. I think more women. Let's, let's, let's applaud these women right quick. More women should go to sip and paint. <laughs> because... Uh, my boy Kofi, Kofi will be uh, modeling. No, the hell I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because he no. thinks it's art. Come on, Kofi. Sure I was sure. asking the question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Kofi. I thought it was. So you don't want to put your member on display? No. <laughs> <laughs> At least you call it member. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kind of body self-conscious, so I don't, I don't Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Body yeah, self-conscious. ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just, I, I don't. I don't like being naked in front of people like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, some people know. Well, I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> That's all I can yeah, make. yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. And you know what? I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to go there. But I want to go back to uh, strip clubs. Um, men's body on display, male strip clubs. I've I've only been to one, and that was. <laughs> should I say the name and shit? I don't know. Um. No, I wasn't as entertained, and also swinging it was, Richards. It, swinging Richards. Swinging yeah. Richards. <laughs> it was, swinging <laughs> Richards. In case you didn't know, um, and there was a lot of gay guys in there, so I, th- I found it very hard to feel as I don't know. It sounds horrible for me to say that as comfortable for myself, but I, I'd rather go to a female strip club. Yeah. Sure. Shout out to all the female strip clubs. Yes. They got tricks, man. I tell you, it's a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and you know what? I, I am not, I, I don't even want to picture a man <laughs> swinging on a pole. <laughs> you know that what I mean? Look weird. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about that, too, though. Um, it, It's hard. It, it, you can't be gender biased in a male strip club if you're if you're the male stripper and and, and, and you are heterosexual okay. like that those 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 female strip clubs open to men and, and women, women. Yep. you know binary heterosexual lesbian whichever you whichever you want to be oh, and, and it's cool for all of those people to be in there now a male strip club and you're a heterosexual male yeah. trying to get that money and That's a man cool. walking there and you say no nah, buddy i don't want to see it don't work like that <laughs> it don't work like that it don't work like that. It don't work but like that. But why is that though? Like, what? What? What's? Why is it so different? I don't want to. I don't. I, I. I'm glad I don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. But I do. Like I. I have friends that are, are are gay that they go to those those clubs and stuff. But I don't. Like I ask them a question. I'm like, what do y'all see? Or uh, why is it? Because they they said there's some straight strippers in there, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm like, pretty sure it is. I'm like, but how how can they do that? You know what I'm saying? Not feel some type of way with these guys hitting on them every the, single the way. The money is good. I think that takes. It don't matter business. about the money. Like it now is like, to me, it's like now it's an ego thing. Like now you fucking with my ego. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like now you fucking with my ego. Like I gotta keep saying no all night every day. Welcome like, to I don't, women's world. The only thing I can do. The only thing I can correlate to that correlate that with excuse me is there are a lot of lesbians in the female strip clubs and the women are fighting them off yeah I, yeah I, 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 women are like i i like penis i don't even want to play around with you but you know what they switch it up and get that money now i understand what you're saying kofi because i still see a woman regulating another woman not to have another woman on her or, or trying her is different. It's still different than a man fighting another man off. Like, I, right, yeah. that's hard. Because yeah. it's more than just ego. It's also because, because I am a woman. But it's a strength thing, too. You know what I mean? So, like, I think it's easier for a woman to be a little, I don't know, we used to be vulnerable. That's it. Men aren't, you know? It becomes a, it becomes a literal fight, generally, for y'all when it comes to too many, yeah, fist fight. too many, Cocks in the cockpit, you know, so like, yeah, it turns, ooh, it turns into a <laughs> cock fight. <laughs> That's 
Yeah. Everybody meet at the door. Everybody meet at the door. Yeah, but uh, seriously though, um, back to our original point. Female strip clubs, that's art. Male strip clubs, not art. Not art. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> dis- well, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that. I'm, I'm. I'm saying this from a heterosexual male standpoint. You know, I. I. I see that. Me. I see that as art. Where the female strip club, as I just don't see the other one. Just and it's the same way with the vagina. Everything I've been saying consistently throughout the thing. I just. Yeah. You know, and 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 I don't want to go there and uh, respect a man from the side. I rather respect a woman from the side. So, <laughs> um, yeah. in that regard. But nevertheless, um. Art versus vulgarity, and we have we have taken that uh, from pregnancy pictures, throughout monuments, throughout history, on to the strip club. Somehow, every party we go to, no matter what we do, we always end up back at the strip club. Yeah. Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> we do, especially in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, Atlanta, they got. Nevertheless. Here. Having said all that, I want you to make sure you click that subscription button and subscribe and make sure you hit us up on Instagram at hit refresh TV. Also hit refresh TV on Twitter. Hit refresh button at gmail.com. Don't forget our sponsors, Magic City Wings. And that slogan is definitely don't forget to lick the sauce and our other sponsor, Light Snack. Make sure you order all your food and all your to-go and deliver items from Light Snack. All right, I'm your host, KD, and uh, you want to say anything before we go, Kofi? Uh, stay black. Stay black. Kai, I don't know. conclude this thing. Any last words? Uh, Support your local art institutions, and I mean real art. And she means real art. All right, anybody with local art institutions uh, wants to give, us a, give them a shout-out on one of our segments, definitely hit us up at uh hit refresh button at gmail.com and we'll definitely get that on um and put that in our comments about that other than that we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing on up and make sure you click and subscribe talk to you soon Mm -hmm. no we had to do this one